I don't know. I don't know. And I'm going to take the fine because the refs did not give us no calls tonight. We had to play through every. We got to break down some news involving Anthony Edwards. This is this is some crazy stuff. You know, um, I got the tribal chief with me. Um, this is crazy, man. Anthony Edwards, he got what he wanted. He said, I'm going to take the fine, and he took it, you know, um, pause. So, I mean, it, it was wild, you know, um, in terms of him saying, uh, basically, I don't know if the lady baited him into the question. It was a tough game. They did beat the Oklahoma City Thunder. Those two teams look like they're jockeying. You know, it's going to be pretty crazy um, as the season goes on. But he was fined, granted his $40,000 fine. I want to read the report that came out from the NBA today. Um, and this is coming from New York. You know, um, it's, it's stated that the Minnesota Timberwolves guard Anthony Edwards has been fined $40,000 for repeated public criticizing the officiating it was announced today by joe dumas executive vice president head of basketball operations edwards made his comments post game following the timberwolves 107 101 victory over the oklahoma city thunder on january 29th at pay paycom pavilion pardon me paycom center so this is a wild situation you know, um, I don't know where Edwards goes from here, but he is a spectacular player. Make no mistake about the situation. Um, this man is averaging 25 points per game, shooting 46 percent from the field, 38 percent from three, five rebounds, five assists. Uh, he's got Minnesota, you know, um, really at the top upper echelon right now. Number one you know, out west, 33 and 14, and Oklahoma City is right there on the heels at 32 and 15. You know, um, Chief, what's your thoughts on this situation with Anthony Edwards? This fine, look, look, what's going on? I love it. Forget all the friendliness. I want to see some rivalries. I want to see hatred. I want, I want it to be, I can't stand you type energy in this new age NBA. And with the money and, and a little money to and put a little money on the table to boot, please. Anthony Ezra, Anthony Ezra Edwards is one of the young stars in this league. And now, as the young stars rise, flight, we got to see who the pecking order is. Shy is there too now. Who is the guy in the West? LeBron and, and, and KD, their days, they are in the sunset. Steph Curry in the sunset. There is Zion. There's Anthony Edwards. There's Shai Jesus Alexander. Right? There's Ja Morant next year. Those four. You know, you can argue about some bonus and, you know, and Fox in Sacramento. You know, we'll see what Phoenix does with Devin, man. But this is the West. This is coming up in the West now. You know, and the rivalries are beginning to shake, take shape now for the new generation. I love it, Flight. I want more. I want more. I want more trash talking, not less. You know. Right. right. So, so you you think it's something going on between him and Shay? Yes, they're competitors. Shy, you know, Anthony Edwards. The, the this was coming, man. Anthony, they the last game they played prior. Anthony said you can't touch him and all this other stuff. He complained a little bit about it, you know. And Shy responded on his Instagram. <laughs> So they began to do a little back and forth uh, talk, you know, and then so when they came back again, you know, the the, the as the talking escalates, the rivalry uh, escalates right along, uh, you know, with the talking. That's good. Yeah, there's something going on. They're competitors. Who will run the West? Who will run it? That's the question. And he said, I'm going to run it. Shai said, no. <laughs> I got a younger squad. I got Chet. I got these other people. Let's see. What, what? I love it, like. Why do you think the NBA protect their officials like this? It's going it, to, they're going to have to do something because it's getting to the point where just about every game is being focused on more and more by all the players, you know, more and more. You know, some of it people attribute to social issues, certain refs that in the past they wouldn't have, they have now, whatever that is. I'm not trying to jump to all that foolishness, but. But the the quality of the refing is something that is to be considered. And also rumors of officials calling the game a certain way 
for certain narratives to take place in the NBA is also an ongoing conversation. Whether you take it, accept it as real or sports conspiracy, that's out there, Flight. Right. No, I, I totally agree with you. Um, where do you see Minnesota, you know, finishing? You know, also, where do you see OKC finishing, you know, out west? And who, who's the more legitimate threat, in your opinion? Well, see... Minnesota got they got into the playoffs last year. So this year they will build on it, hopefully, right? This will be OKC's first go around in a long time being in the playoffs. So uh, it's it's right now they're one and two. I think that Minnesota, because of playoff experience from last season, maybe they can continue and make noise in the playoffs. Whereas OKC, their first time in, even though they're at the top. The bottom teams, that's where LeBron and Steph and KD are. More experience down there. So OKC, you know, the experience of even though those are lower seeds, their experience may trump OKC this year. So it'll be a learning experience for them this year. Anthony Edwards in Minnesota, after last year, they should be more prepared this year to, you know, make a make a deeper run, in my opinion. You know, I totally agree with you. Uh, it's going to be a sight to see, in my opinion. Anthony Edwards, what, like I, we all know the the trio of Anthony Edwards, Tyrese, Lamelo Ball. You know, um, what, where, where do you think that stands? You know, right now, um, in your opinion, with those three, because uh, they they're going to be linked. You know, until the end of time. Yes. They are. And I think uh, LaMelo Ball is 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 working on recovery for his ankles. So we will see the realization of that rivalry hopefully next year. But Ant, see, Ant already in his Nike commercial, he already tossed, he already tossed some MBs to the side. And LaMelo Ball did respond on Instagram on what he did, you know. So, so all the young stars, man, are beginning to, you know, they, I guess they smell, they, that guys, they feel like the old lion's about to go. And I guess they ready to take over, take over the territory and see who the king of the, king of the, king of the jungle is going to be. That's what it is. And so they all staking their claim right now. You know, LaMelo, once he's healthy, he'll be staking his claim in the East the same way, the same way, the same way. Right. Um, Minnesota put a nice little situation. Rudy Gobert, how do you think that has panned out? Because last year it seemed like it was a laughing stock. Yeah, it did, you know. But Rudy's perfect for, for them right now. I think as long as she, Cat, uh, it's like Cat could do more than what he's doing, but, you know, it's Anthony's team. You know, a cat has stepped to the outside. That gives Rudy room on the inside, you know. So right now it's a good balance. They got Jaden there to play defense. So it's a good balance right now around Anthony. I like how they've built it around him. It's a good balance. Yep, it sure is, man. Uh, you already know. Make sure you hit the like button. Most definitely hit the subscribe button. It's Flight Sports TV.